Oh, I caught it. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm going to do a first impression video on the Boleto Studio Airbrush Makeup System. And I have never used airbrush makeup before, but I've always heard about it. So I've been curious as to what the big deal is about it, and is it really worth the money compared to traditional you know, liquid foundation or typical foundation people use. I am going to try it out for the first time. Let's hope that it doesn't turn out too bad. I've done my fair share of research on it. Typically before I buy things, I like to look up, you know, the reviews for it, the different tips on how to use it with things not to do. So I have a general idea of what I should do, but still, let's see how this works. Take a look inside the Boleto Studio box. We have the periodic table of makeup right here and basically this has the different shades of foundation that they offer and you can see that they come in different undertones, yellow and pink and there's also blushes and shadows that have shimmer and matte finishes, skin perfectors and there's also blushes, highlighters and uh, eyebrows and things like that. So it's obviously not just for foundation which is pretty cool and this is the system. And it has these different modes, which I'll show you later. And an airbrush gun. And then the little thing to put it in on the side of the system. The HD airbrush makeup system comes with two boxes full of foundations and blushes and skin perfectors. So that's what it looks like. So there's 12 bottles in total. These are the two skin perfector bottles. These are the two blushes. And I haven't shaken these up so you can kind of see... This, the different layers of colors so when you make it'll look more like that and that one looks like that so these are all the foundation bottles and if you can tell kind of near the top is a lighter color because these are water-based foundations which make it different than regular liquid foundations because of the thickness it's much more watery and so it's made for the airbrush system. So you don't want to be using regular foundation in your airbrush system because it won't work out the same because there is much different consistency. So I have shaken all these bottles up so I'll show you each color. Here we have Sweet Honey, Desert Rose, Sahara Sand, and Bisque. And the next four are Porcelain, Creme de la, Latte, and Brulee. So as you can see, all of these colors kind of are similar, but the good thing about having such a range of colors is that when you go through different seasons or you get a tan or you lose a tan, you can always just adjust the color of your foundation by mixing different colors together instead of having to buy a new set. Also, a good thing about this is that they're all very similar, so there's not going to be a certain bottle I favor over another and certain bottles that won't be able to be used because I can always just mix to create a color I like. And there's a range of lighter and darker, so you can see that's more of an orangey tone versus a more beigey tone and then a more kind of pinky tone. So there's yellow undertones and pink undertones all in this range of colors. So this is the airbrush gun. This is what it looks like. And there's a little trigger here. And if you pull it farther back, obviously the air pressure that comes out is a lot more um, than if you were to lightly push it back. And you put drops of foundation or blush, whatever you're going to be using inside this here. Needle point there, if you can see it right in the middle there, which is what the product comes out of. So that's why I was saying early, earlier you can't use like normal liquid foundation because it's much too thick to be able to fit into there and mist your skin evenly. So once I've plugged this in, the red light turns on behind here. And so I'll go ahead and press the power button. Oh my gosh, it's pretty loud. Hi, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna try the airbrush system for the first time. I've never used any other system, so let's see how this works. <laughs> Typically, when you do airbrush makeup, you wanna make sure that your eye makeup is done and your concealer is on because you don't wanna mess with the airbrush afterwards because it's a matte finish and you don't want to you know be messing around with it when you're rubbing your face with eyeshadow or anything like that so i just have some eye makeup on and i would typically have some concealer but for the purpose of seeing if it really makes a difference with this system i didn't put any concealer on because i wanted to see if it actually would cover my blemish as well especially my under eye circles they're pretty dark right now so let's see how this goes let's try these two i'll be trying um, latte and sweet honey because 
They look like good shades. <laughs> supposed to put in about five or six drops of foundation so I'll put mm, let's say two of this because it's kind of dark sweet honey three four it just I don't know I, I pay attention to smell something smells really bad I don't want it, like putting it on my skin it doesn't really smell like anything oh I can't smell it so I'm gonna go ahead and Put it on medium. There's a constant airflow coming out even when I'm not pulling on the trigger at all. So they say when you're trying to mix colors, you cover this part here and you kind of just let it bubble in there. Pull it back lightly and let it bubble. That way the colors mix. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This feels so good. Like just having the air on my face by itself feels so good. It's like cold air coming out. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. I feel like it's gonna go all over my face. Well, it's supposed to, but like, okay, I'll just go. It feels so nice. Okay, so I put a little bit on my cheek. Let's see what it looks like up closer. Wow, it's like really cold. Oh, I think I'm putting too much on. Is it making a difference? Okay, I'll try underneath my eyes. Oh, I think I put a little bit too much on. Oh! feels like it's drying on my skin like there's nothing like when I look, put liquid foundation on if I wipe that I can still feel the moisture with this it's almost like a matte finish I think I messed up right here what the heck is this it's like a spot I think I put way too much earlier on that part so if you hear that it kind of I don't think you can hear it but change in pitch means that I have to refill because there's nothing left, so I'm going to refill real quick. It feels so good though. Oh, uh, that's a really bad spot right there. Do you see that? What happened there? Oh, I think I touched it. See? You're not supposed to touch it. Like I was saying earlier, I'm supposed to mess with it, and I messed with it. And that's what happens. It feels so nice. It's like a cold breeze your face. This is like the funnest way to put makeup on ever, I swear. Okay, so I have like veins on my eyelids if you can see there, so let's see if this covers it up. They're gone. I did a pretty good job, actually. Like, you can't see the veins at all anymore. But the thing is, it's like, it looks like my skin. It doesn't even look like I put makeup on there. That's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the blush. So I'm using B5, which is Coralia. Looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake it before I use it. And they have these little beads inside. You can hear that, which just makes sure that the whole mixture mixes evenly and well. Typically, you're going to want to wash out your gun after you use it, but since I'm going to be using blush and I kind of want to, you know, mix it in with a little bit of foundation that's left over to just blend in my skin evenly, I will. But I'll also show you guys how to clean your brush after you use it because you want to make sure that after each use, you clean out your brush so it doesn't dry or clog up your air gun. So I'll put in drops of this blush. Turn on thing. I'll put it on low setting. And let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. That came out. Okay, so 
So I have blush on this side, so I'm going to do this side. Oh yeah, that came out. Look at that. It's like a line. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I, keep, I keep wanting to touch it because usually I like blending my foundation when I put it on or my bronzer. That came out really bad. I did horrible on that. If you can see that, that is like a straight line across my face. So this definitely does take practice since it's not your usual way of putting makeup on if you're not used to it. Oh dude, that side is pink. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good on blush on this side. Let's just put a little bit more on that side. It's really fun because it's just a cool mist on your face and it's super like soothing on your face and it looks like my skin is like this. Not that I put any you know, foundation on, except for obviously this right here. You can kind of get a hint. I'm wearing makeup for this, a pink streak on my face, but otherwise, I am happy with the way it turned out. I can't wait to start, like, getting used to this, so that way it'll actually be a better job than what I did right now. But, yeah. So, it's been about an hour, hour and a half since I applied the airbrush foundation, and... Just kind of an update, I guess, some thoughts I have now that, you know, it's been a while since I've applied it. What I notice is it's like the opposite of greasy. It's super, like, matte and not really powdery because there's no powder involved at all. But it is very, like, dry. There's no moisture to it at all. And I didn't put moisturizer or primer on, which is something that you should definitely do because I think it would make a big difference, especially moisturizer because... Around my mouth here, I especially have dry spots, and when you have dry spots and you use the airbrush, I find that it's just darker in those areas, so it's a little bit uneven if there's dry spots. And also, fine lines. If you have fine lines, they will definitely be a lot more noticeable using an airbrush. Like when I smile, I get these lines right here, and then when I have a straight face, you can still see those parentheses so that's not good so I think if I just put moisturizer on it should be fine also another thing I did while I was applying the foundation was I touched it right after I sprayed it I had started rubbing it and then there was that spot that was white from where I wiped my finger just right after you apply it make sure you don't touch it so that way it can dry and settle down and then once that happens it's not gonna smudge or not gonna you know wipe away like it did so overall I just use primer moisturizer don't touch it right after you apply like I did um, like I said practice because the first time is always not going to be the best you know if you have any suggestions on a tutorial you want me to use using the airbrush system or any questions at all feel free to comment below and like and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching guys bye